just say the word. I'll find out everything for you. Number zero. I've been waiting to give you the routine ops report. Okay. Anything unusual? Well, there's good news and bad news. Which do you want first? Let's hear the bad news. The bad news is that the overall state of the world hasn't changed. Humanity is still outnumbered by the Volgus, and we continue to be threatened by the Colossi. On the Volgus side, we're just about holding the line, thanks to the work of Colon Special Forces. But we need to carry out more infiltration and recon operations, and commander assassinations. We've already deployed all the numbers. We don't have the resources to fill the gaps. I think we should build another one of me, or something. I can't be everywhere. Was that a joke? It wasn't funny, I guess. So, what's the good news? Right, the good news. You're gonna like this, Number Zero. We've received a large shipment of Inger cookies. Seriously? Now who's not being funny, Eckert? Do you think I have time to sit around eating cookies? Actually, I do. You haven't taken a break since the operation in the ruins, Number Zero. Every human being needs to take a break from work now and again. Human beings? Yes. Not me. Do you have anything else to report? I've got things to do. Nothing further. Oh, wait. Today's the day of another battle, right? Make sure you win, Number Zero. I'll be rooting for you. Of course you're aware of the schedule of the Colon Commander. As a member of an intel unit, I'd expect nothing less. <laughs> You'll have to blame my skills for that one. Good luck, Number Zero. Sharon, oh, I mean, Number Zero. I also have something to report, just a moment. Hello, Descendant. What can I do for you? Have you completed DNA testing of the candidates? I certainly have. Eugen has been helping out a lot recently, which makes my job easier. I didn't know Dr. Han could be so helpful. He understands the kind of pressures that the Colon Special Forces are under. He's not going to slack off at a time like this. So what are the results? Do we have suitable candidates to fill in the missing numbers? Yes. We've identified soldiers who are exceptionally strong both physically and mentally. Plus, there's a candidate who might be an RK user. I've attached the details to the report. Thanks, Kate. Hopefully we'll be able to recruit some capable agents. By the way, how have you been feeling? Eugen wants you to stop by the medical corps. He says you need a checkup. Well, I will need a checkup soon, but that's not where I should be going. I need to visit the maintenance depot, not the medical corps, don't I? Hey, don't start with that again. I need to accept the reality of what I am. I can't do anything else. I'll talk to you later. Okay, but please, do stop by the medical corps. Oh, speaking of which, I really should head to the maintenance depot. I have an important battle today. I need to make sure my body prosthetic is in optimal working order. Keep it short. Well, 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 look who's here. <laughs> what brings the Colon Commander to our shabby establishment? Des, long time no see. How have you been? Me? <laughs> same old, same old. Making more weapons and pumping out rounds. Anyway, what can I do for you? I know you're a busy person. Ah, is today the day? You here for maintenance? Yes. As always, I'm in your hands. You say as always, but... You know I can't overhaul a full-body RK drive like yours, right? I can handle Lepic, but... Even the Magisters find your prosthetics a challenge. That's why I'm only asking you for a tune-up. Come on. It's kind of a superstition at this point, so please, just do it. 
Well, your shooting did used to get a lot better whenever I fixed up your gun. But what you're asking for now, it's too much. Just ask me to do maintenance work on your gun like you used to. The only thing that's changed, Des, is that my entire body is now my gun. Look, whatever happened to your body, it doesn't change the fact that you're still Sharon Julissia. <sighs> okay, now get out of here, and good luck. Thank you, Deslin. I promise to bring my gun next time. No thanks. You come back for maintenance again, and I'm charging you a giant amount of caliber. Number zero. Number 17 has reported that preparations for your battle are complete. I can take you there immediately. Okay, let's go. Would you like to access the laboratory? Hello, number zero. If you're ready, I will take you to the battle area. Go ahead. Hopefully I can get the results we need. Command has faith in you, number zero. Welcome, Descendant. again, just like I did when it happened. Don't take it to heart, Sharon. <sighs> the simulation data was heavily weighted. Uh, that should have been an easy win with my machine specs. Performance of my body prosthetic is getting better and better. Why can't I win? Huh. Your jokes seem to be getting worse and worse. 
Machine specs? You're human, remember? Human. Am I? supposed to do. The experimental data I received was very welcome. That was quite the battle. This is the Magister's private line. Who is this? I'm looking forward to speaking with you in person. I'll be waiting. I have no intention of getting in your way. My name is Kishenax. It's good to meet you. I'm a Magister and a member of the Council. I am also responsible for the development of arcade drives. This may be the first you've heard of me, but I know a lot about you. I was the one who installed your full-body prosthetic. Have you noticed any discomfort with your movements? Any tickling sensations in your brain? Or pain in your spine? <laughs> Wait, it wasn't Anais who worked on me? Well, you're half right. Without Anais's research on Arke, it is likely you wouldn't have survived even with the full-body prosthetic implant. But RK alone won't unlock your full potential. The data does not lie. How have the results of your mock battles been so far? Have you ever defeated that Vulgus assassination unit? Even once? <laughs> well... As the creator of your body prosthetic technology, your defeats are an insult to me. You need an upgrade. That is why I left the council and came down here in person. Come visit me in my lab, Sharon. There I will mold you into the strongest warrior. Become an immortal descendant. One who will never be defeated again. Hmm. Immortal. That's risky talk, Councillor Kasenex. If there's something you need, you'll need to pay. Kasenix. The upgrade you want to perform on Sharon will certainly grant her a form of immortality. The cyborg Vulgus soldiers who constantly modify themselves to replace their bodies with machine parts and their souls with code, if I recall correctly, they call themselves the Legion of Immortality. Huh? A nace. I believe an RK drive is not merely a mechanism. It is a system that can become stronger as the descendant's RK grows in strength. You should be more transparent about your objectives, Counselor Kasenix. Are you offering the support of humanity to facilitate peace for the Magisters? Or are you doing this for accolades? So you can become the next council chairman? Hmm? Pure speculation. How dare an artisan class insult a councillor? This is ridiculous. Fine. My theory on RK, or your body prosthetic technology, which one will be most effective? Oh, let's make a bet. Sharon, what do you think? Have you ever wondered what your next step should be? I want you to become stronger, but I want you to achieve that in a way that is appropriate for a descendant. Although it may be a slow process, try developing your RK yourself. That's what you should focus on. Your efforts will be rewarded once you've built up your RK. If you had upgraded your body prosthetic, you would have already become stronger several times over during the time you spent training. 
What a wasted opportunity. That is the essence of humanity, Counselor Kasenics. They develop slowly, but steadily and surely. They are full of infinite possibilities, just like the Ironheart. But can I really consider myself as being fully human? I know I should prioritize developing my RK, but Xanax has a point. It's not as simple as that. The results recorded in the prime hands show an increase in your biometrics across the board. More importantly, the fact that the metrics of your RK have increased is a significant indication of the effectiveness of your training. I also want to measure your power capabilities for the same attribute. The Descendants have a new mission to eliminate Void Fragments in the Sterile Land. Destroy the Void Fragments in the Repository and Rockfall in the Sterile Land to test your RK abilities.
laughable. If it's new research, I'm listening. Let's see. Hmm. Yes, as I expected. Uh, is there a problem? Uh, not at all. It seems that your enhanced RK is providing more power to your body prosthetic systems than its specifications require. Do you understand what this means? As you've enhanced your RK, you've been providing your body prosthetic with increased energy. This was only possible through the development of your fundamental power, your RK abilities. Do you remember the crux of my theory? RK increases proportionally according to the growth of the descendant. This graph shows the increase in the power and output of your RK abilities. This isn't due to your body prosthetic. It's because your RK has been enhanced. A body prosthetic is essentially a machine. Machines don't improve unless they're replaced or new features are added. They also don't work at all without RK to power them. Your body prosthetic is outperforming its original specifications because of the increased quality of its power source, which is your enhanced RK. Your hard work, your RK, which has been enhanced by your efforts, has allowed you to maximize your machine's performance. You should keep working toward making your RK even more powerful. The stronger you become, the better the technology will be that the Magistrates develop. The absurdity of this. How a nace makes me laugh. She acts as if the results of a single case study are enough to prove her theory. Maybe artisan class is too generous a name. Teaming up with me is the surest way to achieve your revenge. The results Anais has are far removed from what would happen in actual missions of yours. To think that she'd argue her theory has been proven based on a single set of results. These results are not a true reflection of what you would experience in a practical setting. Data obtained through a controlled environment with fixed conditions and parameters is meaningless. Battles have many variables. You never know what will happen, or when it will happen, or how. And if the enemy has advanced technology and weapons, it becomes even more unpredictable. The majority of your missions are to eliminate elite Vulgus who pose a threat to us. Your body prosthetic was not designed for you merely to handle low-level Vulgus. You are the perfect assassin. Crafted to have exceptional mobility and an active camouflage system. You deserve a test that befits your skills, wouldn't you agree? 
Remember, the only true measure of your worth is your results in battle. Let us run the mock battle simulation that you kept failing against the Vulgus Assassin. Then we will see if Anais is correct, or if I am. Any objections? <laughs> you act like I have a choice. Huh. That's correct. You don't. Number 17. Prepare a mock battle so I can test my performance limits. The target will be the Vulgus Assassination Unit. I've already requested that Sienna simulate a mock battle with mine. Head over to Sienna once you're ready. Welcome, Descendant. Simulation data set. Good luck, number zero. This time I'll win, no matter what. These results were unexpected. I felt aggravated that Anessa's theory was right, and excited by how much you have developed. Two conflicting emotions warring within me. An RK drive body prosthetic that uses RK as its power source will inevitably be affected by the condition of the descendant's RK. I agree with the results that your enhanced RK increased the efficiency of your body prosthetic. I wonder, should that be your only goal? Should you not strive to become a stronger Sharon, not to merely have stronger Arke? You are a descendant with a full body prosthetic. You're a unique case. Compared to descendants who built their Arke abilities by pushing their physical bodies, you have clear limits to your growth unless we further develop your body prosthetic. I want to build you a high-performance body prosthetic that matches your development. I want you to aspire to greater heights of performance. But if you're satisfied with the results of today's mock battle, I won't hold forth on the matter any further. 
Your body prosthetic is the reason you can still be the commander of Colon. Even though you've lost your limbs. The reason you have superior mobility in every battle. I hope you realize this. Cassandax isn't wrong. Even if my RK keeps improving, if my body prosthetic can't keep up, it'll be useless. I'm sure he has his own motives for upgrading me, but I am a machine. I don't know if I have the right to say no. Number zero, I apologize for the urgency of this call. I have something to report. Can you spare a moment? I was thinking of looking into repairs, but... Understood. I'll be right there. Please be as brief as possible. It feels like something's troubling you, Number Zero. Uh, uh, excuse me? I've worked with you for a long time. I can tell how you're feeling through changes in the tone of your voice and the look on your face. You look the same now as you did when you were handling the Room Zero incident. What are you getting at? In the aftermath of the Room Zero incident, you were dealing with confusion, shock, and sadness. You were tormented by problems you couldn't solve. But you told yourself you could not allow your emotions to get the better of you, and you remained Commander Number Zero. Because if you faltered, all of Colon would falter. I realize that your recent interactions with Counselor Ksenix have unsettled you. However, you were the Commander of Colon Number Zero. I hope you don't pay attention to the whispers of outsiders. To me, you are not a machine, nor a descendant. You are my superior officer and the commander of Kolon. Your strength doesn't come from your body prosthetic or your arche. Body prosthetics and arche are only tools. Even before you had them, you rose to the rank of commander because of your outstanding abilities and judgment. That is who you are, Number Zero. Please, do not hesitate any longer. If someone throws a rock to create ripples, you need to calm the water. I will act as your adjutant if it will help with this. I apologize if my behavior has crossed the line. I will gladly accept any punishment you deem necessary. Uh, I'm... I'm not going to punish you. I should be thanking you. I'm a little shocked that you could tell I was shaken. I'm sure you couldn't help it. It's extremely rare for a counselor to get directly involved. But there's no need for us to be affected by their actions. We have our duties to attend to. Now for the report. We have received intel on data hidden inside the Volgus classified area in the sterile land. I believe we need to urgently investigate and gather more information. We await your orders. All right. Time for some actual field work. We'll begin by gathering more information based on what we already know. We need to track down all of the important data and see if there is a connection to the Vulgus assassination unit. If there is a connection, it may help me get revenge. We've previously confirmed that there are several data processing facilities in the Vulgus classified area in the sterile land. I'll check if there are any ambushes planned and if we're able to collect those documents. Good. Report back to me immediately if anything occurs. Glad you're here, Number Zero. Thankfully, not all of the data processing facilities have been destroyed. We couldn't gather all the information during the previous operation because we had to track down the Ironheart. But I think we'll be able to do it now. Hmm. I'll investigate the area. There's some overlap with suspicious locations from the previous infiltration mission. I'll cover the new areas. Number 17, you search the remainder. Affirmative. Let's reconvene after we have more information. 
Tracking coordinates. Tracking system activated. Switching to infiltration mode. En route to the nearest data processing facility. Research data from the bipedal walking unit's mobility enhancement project. Huh. It's been divided and encrypted separately. Oh, what a pain in the ass. There are five coordinates where the data may be located, all inside the production area. I'll have to hurry if I want to find it. Zero. I've uncovered an encrypted bogus troop production plan in the information I found. I'm decrypting it, but that will take time. Given how urgently we need it, should I ask Eckert to decrypt it? No. Asking Eckert would require radio transmissions, which might reveal our location. Send it through to my Aceve. I'll decrypt it myself. Access code overclock. Code zero activated. Initiating decryption. Production records 25% analyzed. 
Accessed user records, 80% analyzed. Test records, 64% analyzed. Wait, number zero. That function is... Number 17, Colon Special Forces, at your... Number zero. You said you would refrain from using overclock code zero. As efficient as that code is, it puts pressure on your cerebral functions. You've experienced memory lapses as a direct result of it, correct? The last time you used it, you lost the memory of one of your body prosthetic scans. That's not a reason not to use it in a situation like this. We're on a mission. Have you forgotten that the mission comes first for Colon, no matter the circumstances? I apologize, but I am concerned for you. As your adjutant, I think I should be. I appreciate your concern, Number 17, but again, we are on a mission. And as my adjutant, you should know better than anyone what this mission in particular means to me. I promise to not use the code going forward, which means I won't forget this conversation. Understood. The data we analyzed made it clear that they were working on a project that is similar to the production of Alzarok. But it says the completed unit was inexplicably lost during transport to the Agna Desert. This part seems dubious. There are no updates to the report following that entry, so I'll need to go there and investigate. Whatever happened, we need to move faster than they do. What are you doing here, Ksenax? That is an unduly harsh reaction, Sharon. There is no need to be so hostile towards me. I know what you came here to find. Teaming up with me is the surest way to achieve you. But first, let me make this very clear. I have no intention of interfering with your mission. On the contrary, I wish to help. I believe you came here in search of a unit that the Vulgus lost in transit. Uh, uh. It may have slipped your mind because our paths have crossed more frequently in recent times, but I am a counselor of the Council of Magisters. If I so wished, I could access all of HQ's communications records. Have you also forgotten that we designed the Deceive Links for the Descendants? Well, anyway, your findings piqued my interest, and the location also happened to be the Agna Desert. The Agna Desert. How could I forget this place? The Agna Desert was one of the regions we Magisters chose when we fled from the Vulgus. And I was one of those who fled here. I memorized much of the terrain of this land back then in order to carry out our plans unseen by enemy eyes. The hideouts we used are still there. However, you will not be able to find them, even with your spatial tracking device. That is why I have personally come to help you. It would not hurt for us to work together. What do you say? I have more than a few doubts. But it's not a good idea to antagonize Kasanax right now. The smart thing to do would be to find out why he wants to help me. Why don't you give me the benefit of the doubt? If we continue to waste time like this, the Vulgus might get to their mislaid unit first. Don't you agree? I'll go alone, with you guiding me. You have exhausted your body prosthetic. Your neural circuits are close to being overloaded. I can numb your pain receptors now if you wish. <laughs> 
fun. No, I don't want that. I need to keep my neural activation levels high, and the pain keeps my senses sharp. Besides, if you numb my sense of pain, I won't be able to imagine the pain I'm going to inflict on those who made me what I am. So very determined, as you wish. I will transmit the coordinates to your Aceive channel. As you know, I am one of the Vulcus's key targets. This means I am not permitted to roam as freely as I would like, so I will be returning to Albion. You will find the information you seek at the coordinates. The director of the Prowler Project was... Kasanax. From your coordinates, I assume you must have located the information. Once you've composed yourself, return to me. I will tell you everything. Why I led you there. Why I allowed you to unearth that information. I have no intention of getting in your way. Do not glare at me with such murderous intent. I said I would tell you everything. So quit stalling and tell me, why is your name on the Prowler Project? You were the director? Why did you keep this from me, all this time? The Prowler Project was one that I ran while I was with the Vulgus. Through it, I was able to make great progress with research into body prosthetic technology. I eventually succeeded in constructing the Prowler. But the Prowler I created killed elite members of Kolon, and left you, their commander, in a terrible state. If you were in my place, could you have revealed this awful truth? Driven by guilt and a need to atone, I built you a state-of-the-art prosthetic body. 
using the expertise I gained from developing the Prowler. Once your body was ready, I applied the RK Drive technology. Thankfully, it has kept you alive up to this point. This fact remains, even if you resent me for everything that you uncover. Do not be angry, Sharon. I never meant to deceive you. How? How could you? Kasanax, if you truly felt sorry, you should have helped me get my revenge sooner. You thought these prosthetic implants could atone for what you did to me and my men? Are you kidding me? Of course not. Which is why I came to you for true redemption. Sharon, I will serve as bait to lure out the Prowler. A what? As you know, the Magisters are high priority targets for the Volgus. And I am at the very top of that elimination list. I am an authority on several body prosthetic technologies, including the Prowler Project. As long as I live, the Legion of Immortality runs the risk of being fully analyzed. As soon as I am seen on the battlefield, the Vulgus Legions will send every assassin unit they have at their disposal, including the Prowler, to eliminate me. So you're willing to die for me now? <laughs> I am sorry, but no. I do not intend to surrender that easily. I have been working on a code that can control the body prosthetics of the Legion of Immortality. I'm at the stage where I can complete the code, if I have some key data and the source technology. If this control code can be used to neutralize the Prowler sent to assassinate me, you will have your revenge. I will have atoned, and humanity will have the technology to control the Legion of Immortality. Everyone will get what they want. I don't need some stupid code to take down that bastard. I need to get started with the operation right away. Calm yourself, Sharon. Do you truly think the Prowler has not received a single upgrade since I left? Assuredly not. Now that Aemon has integrated the Magister's technology, the Prowler will have become stronger, similar to you. If you rush out there without considering your options, you will only end up losing precious bait, namely me. If you truly wish to carry out your revenge, Sharon, help me. I have always offered you the most efficient course of action. Working with me is the surest way to have your vengeance. I don't know if it's the most appropriate time to tell you, Sharon, but I've finished analyzing the data I received from number 17. It isn't something I want to discuss over the radio. Please come to the Research Institute. Humanity is very weak. The data that number 17 requested to be analyzed and the data that you accessed on the Prowler project revealed a significant discrepancy in what we know of the performance of the Prowler. The Vulcus units in your battle simulations were based on the estimated specs of the Prowler that attacked you. But this data shows that the Prowler's power and mobility have improved substantially since that time. Before we get into that, Anais, let me ask you something. Did you know about any of this? Or did you already know about all of it? I'm merely a member of the Artisan class. I have no knowledge of the actions of the Council or the Counselors. Aside from that, humans already had RK Drive technology when I joined, and research was already being done on body prosthetics. The technology was enabled by RK and, similarly, was recorded in internal files as being an ancestor technology. I had no idea. I... I can't stomach the fact that my body was developed using the same technology as the bastard that made me like this. The RK Drive is nothing more than a tool. You are not the same as the Prowler. You are Sharon Julissia. You are human, a descendant, and the Colon Commander. Machines cannot develop, but humans can. 
Don't forget the days of pain you had to endure in order to grow. But I can't beat the Prowler in my current state. I need to upgrade my body prosthetic to carry out my revenge. My body prosthetic is only a tool. I'm just upgrading a tool to make revenge possible. Number zero. Cassanex has sent a message regarding the Legion of Immortality's control device. I'll be right there. Please be as brief as possible. You're here. This is what Cassanex has sent us. As you know, when the Magisters came over to the side of humanity, they tried to steal as much advanced material and technology as possible to take with them, but they were thwarted by the Volgas who pursued them. So they created encrypted vaults and stored the materials and technology inside, then hid those vaults all over Ingress. As Cassenix was one of those Magisters, he did the same. Cassenix hid the core materials necessary for the development of the Legion of Immortality control device in an encrypted vault. He insisted that we retrieve them. The zone Cassenex chose to hide them in is Hagios. Given the vastness of Hagios, the vault is not going to be easy to find. There's nothing easy about this operation. Don't worry, we'll find it. It's a shame that these encrypted vaults can only be owned by a descendant. I'm sorry that I can't be of more help. Don't sweat it. Encrypted vaults are classified. They're designed to be detected only within a sieve. Understood. Please contact me immediately if you need any help. Thank you. 
are stashed away. I will be so glad to have them back. I will be eagerly awaiting your return in Albion. Good to meet you. I'm Kusenax, a magister. Finally! Thank you for recovering these, Sharon. Now I can design the Legion of Immortality control code. All that's left to obtain is the Vulgus network source technology in order to disseminate the code. However, this will be a completely different level of difficulty compared with locating the encrypted vault. This technology is one of the most heavily guarded and classified pieces of information that the Vulgus have. The most likely place for this technology to be stored currently is the Fortress, the headquarters of the Vulgus. If an opening presents itself for us to infiltrate the Fortress, we can use it to acquire the source technology. It will not be easy, clearly, but for you to have your revenge on the Prowler, we need that technology. Don't worry, we'll get it, one way or another. But you'd better be sure about this, Kasenax. I've staked everything on getting revenge. There's no turning back from this now. Ha! I have no intention of turning back either, Sharon. We will see this through to the end. <laughs> Believe it. <laughs> How could they manage this? Do they know what they have done? The fate of the Magistus. I. HQ and the descendants did what they had to do. What was best? Alpha made the decision to protect Albion and Ingress. I know that the Magisters have different opinions when it comes to the Iron Hearts. But don't we have something more important to do right now, Kasenax? Now would be a good time to recover the source technology from inside the fortress. It's time for you to play your part. Yes, you are right. As a Magister, I must play my part for the future of my species. I will tell you where the technology is likely to be stored. Search there and bring me what we need. The location seems to be underground. Judging by the look of the base, they were likely trying to smuggle the classified data out of the fortress to safety. If this is the case, you should check the underground air raid shelter. It may be more dangerous than the areas above ground.
I was not wrong. They were in a hurry and did not manage to split the technical data as much as they wanted. It is likely that they intended to transport the other half of the data through the underground evacuation tunnel. I have traced the location where the data you acquired was stored. It appears to be not far from the heart of the fortress. The data that they sent the furthest away was what you have just acquired, so the remainder should be somewhere near the heart. Investigate the evacuation and data storage facilities around the heart of the fortress. Once we locate the other half of the data, it is only a matter of time before you and I both achieve our goals. technical data. 
I'll join you at your location. Excellent news. I'll be waiting for you at the Aurora Forest Forward Base. <gasps> Good to meet you. I'm Cassandra. All right. Add the remaining data here. Perfect. I can now complete the Legion of Immortality control code. But Sharon, there is something I must ask you. Are you truly ready for this? As you said, there is no turning back. No one can stop the motion of the cogs once they start to turn. I've been waiting for this moment. I'm ready. Very well. Then I will see you back in Albion. I need time to integrate the technology you have secured and to prepare for the final act. of getting in your way. I have finally completed the Legion of Immortality control code. This will protect me when I act as bait to lure out the Prowler, and as it will be unable to resist, you will destroy it. How long have I had to wait for this? But now the rewards are within reach. I will make this all worth it, Sharon. Everything's going according to plan. You know I've been waiting for this moment. I've prepared an escape route for you after you do your bit as bait. If something goes wrong, you'll also be in danger. Do you think I do not know that I could die if this plan fails? My life depends on you also playing your part. Listen carefully. To be effective, the Legion of Immortality control code must be uploaded at a terminal linked to the Vulgus network. The best place to install the code is the Unknown Laboratory, located in the Sterile Land. It is the central hub of the Vulgus network, which means we can disseminate the control code throughout the network. But this also means the Prowler will easily register my signal. You'll need to infiltrate the location quickly, and upload the control code before the Prowler takes me out of play. Are you sure the Prowler will show up? There are just too many variables, even if you are their priority target. Trust me, Sharon. The Prowler will be there. I guarantee it. Just focus on the infiltration. Even without the Prowler, the Unknown Laboratory is heavily guarded. It will not be an easy fight. Let me know when you are ready. The time has finally come for you to take revenge. I will remain on standby near the sterile land just in case. Good luck, Number Zero. Thank you, Number 17. I'll return with news of my success. Over. Good to meet you. I'm Kusenax, a Magister affiliated with the Council and the one responsible for developing the Arcade Drive.
Number zero, please be careful. We have identified self-destruct units that exceed the standard power output that we calculated inside the lab. Use active camouflage to conceal yourself and avoid engagement. Even using our most conservative estimates, the units are too powerful to withstand, unless you have a blast-proof suit like SMO. Oh, looks like they've changed their anti-infiltration tactics. Thanks for the info, number 17. Sharon, do you really believe we can make it to the network hub? Of course we can. I've infiltrated this place many times. Don't worry about me, just worry about yourself. If our target shows up before the control code is uploaded, you know what happens next, right? <laughs> we really are approaching the end. I am counting on you. Number zero. I picked up a brief spot on the field. I think there is a high probability it is the power. So it did show up. And sooner than expected. I'd better hurry and upload the code. Something's not right. The problem responded too quickly. It can't just be targeting the Magister. I guess Kazanax must be a very valuable target to them. He's excellent bait. Huh. I suppose we will find out soon enough. Senex will be arriving at the Vulgus Network Hub shortly. I need to know what to do after the control code is uploaded. As soon as the code is finished uploading, all Legion of Immortality units in this facility will be under my control. However, high-ranking Prowler-type units have built-in protections against technological warfare. It will take some time for the code to activate. The Prowler will probably attempt to escape and that's my window to take it down. Got it.
How does it feel to face your old enemy, Sharon? Just as before, I still have you in the palm of my hand. Brown, subdue Sharon by the time I arrive. She will soon become the real you. <laughs> not kill her.
Not yet. Not here, no. Snap out of it. Not until the pain did this to me. <laughs> It seems the control code has finally been activated. <laughs> yes, it has been a long time indeed. Get up, Sharon. Or should I call you Prowler now? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how much time and effort it took to create you? No one will ever know. And that is most important, because going forward, you will be taking orders from someone that no one else will ever know about. Alpha has gone too far. Humanity needs to be controlled. Prowler. Eliminate Alpha and his staff, and take over HQ. We are going to be busy, you and I. We'll lead humanity. And take control of the Iron Hearts. Yes, with the next Iron Heart. <coughs> what? Huh? You... What have you done? <coughs> <coughs> on its prickly, throbbing ache. It reminds me that... that I'm not a powerful killing machine, but only a weak human being. Damnation! But that still has its advantages. Humans... Cannot be controlled by some code. Damn it! My, my technology was felt proof. My technology. It's over. Sharon, I can imagine that you're not likely happy to see me right now. But could you allow me a moment? Sure. I have a lot of questions for you too, Anais. I'll be right there. Oh, the special human child. What do you need? I have been informed of what happened in full. 
I'm truly sorry about how everything turned out. I want you to know that this wasn't the collective will or the intention of every Magister, including myself. Senex acted alone in this matter. On behalf of the Magisters, I apologize. We never planned to use you in this way. An apology isn't necessary. Because I was able to learn the truth. And thanks to you, I remembered something I had long forgotten. The reason I could withstand the Legion of Immortality Control Code, even though I was built with the same technology as the Prowler, wasn't because of my body prosthetic or my RK. It was because of my human resolve. I realized that in every moment and every situation, it isn't my mechanical body that enables me to overcome a crisis. It is my own humanity and my will. That being said, it doesn't make the betrayal by the Magisters, <laughs> no, by Xenax, any less painful. If you and the rest of the Magisters are truly sorry, if you genuinely mean it, then you can proceed with the ultimate project for me, Anais. I have two conditions. One, it must be a body prosthetic that doesn't need to be maintained by the Magisters. I need a body that I can look after myself, just as a human takes care of their own body. Two, I must be able to feel pain. Complete the ultimate Descendant project under those two conditions, and I'll accept your apology as being sincere. Pain? I thought you asked me to block your ability to feel pain once your revenge was complete. I did, back then. But I've changed my mind. Pain reminds me that I am human. I want to keep that feeling. Huh. Yes, I see what you mean. It won't be easy, but it will be done. That's a promise. Good. I look forward to hearing more. It's all over. I thought I'd feel a sense of release when I reached the end of my revenge journey, but I don't feel that at all. I feel the opposite. I don't have a goal to work toward anymore. I work toward getting stronger so I could carry out my revenge. I endured it all solely for revenge. But I need to remember that this is only natural, too. People lose their way all the time. You forget what life means, and you have to work hard to find it again. It's painful, but it's proof that you're alive. Sadness, pain, and suffering. the end of the story of Sharon Julissia who lived for revenge. Now I can start writing the story of Sharon Julissia who lived in search of another purpose. I'll gladly face whatever ordeals come my way. My story.